Uh, Blender, you see some screenshots. Uh, you have OSM. This is from Bossum. I'll uh, demo that later. This 2D and you have like the 3D. This is the uh, topography from OSM. Well, I think there's quite some developments in this area. Esri is, is and, and Autodesk are also teaming up. You see like all kinds of mushrooms, crossovers between technologies, LiDAR becoming uh, meshes and, and all kinds of stuff happening. So it's really an interesting area field uh, for uh, investigating and, and see what you can do with it. So here you have the, like an aerial map of Belgium again. Like you see terrain and you see OSM netpack. So that's part of resources you can use. I'll explain later a photo. And here you see a picture of one of my favorite pubs in, uh, in Ghent, in Belgium. It's uh, the Bierkade aan de waterkant. And the Geld here is a nice pub. So <laughs> I thought this was a nice place to... Uh... Yeah. But this is the same data as you can see in uh, 3D Google Earth. You know that, right, uh, Petru? If you have uh, certain places in the world, like the rural areas, you can navigate 3D. I think we're headed that way. More and more, we rely on 3D data to visualize where we are. You can see that in, in, in some expensive cars like the Tesla, you can see 3D cars and 3D houses. It's, yeah. it's popping up everywhere. 